You know, I first discovered my serious passion for music when I was in high school. And I had the chance to play in this regional band. And we were doing this piece with this gigantic brass section, you know, playing incredibly loud, the whole orchestra's playing. And I started to cry during the performance. And that was, I think, when I first felt the kind of the raw emotion and, and power that music can have over somebody. And I really decided then that I was going to spend my life trying to create that feeling for other people. I love putting on concerts, making our collections and our music more accessible to people. The main collection I work with is the Lester Levy Sheet Music Collection, which is really one of the largest digitized sheet music collections in the world. We've had people reach out looking for music about kittens or music about money or music about gazebos was a fun one. Lester Levy really saw sheet music as a window into U.S. history. So he collected songs from pretty much every major event or idea or person or movement or invention that affected the United States from really the Revolutionary War through the Vietnam War. But Lister also sought to collect music from some of the darker corners of our history. So I'm very grateful that Lester collected these songs so that students and scholars today could really confront them and learn about how they shaped our popular history. Since this is my first exhibition here, and it's the first major exhibition of the Levy Collection in at least a couple of decades, I decided rather than focusing on a hyper-specific part of the collection, I started with some background on Lester Levy, his collecting practices, and then I really chose the rest of the exhibit based on the strengths of the collection. One of the songs that's featured in the exhibit, I originally did not intend for it to be a, a featured item. I was looking through our Edgar Allan Poe sheet music collection and I found this manuscript that as I looked closer, it says on the bottom, inscribed to my wife, Mrs. Poe by E.A. Poe in 1835. And I asked our head of collections about it and she sort of jumped out of her chair. We're still testing and evaluating this manuscript to see if it's forgery but it's just a very puzzling piece of paper and I'm very excited to bring the public in on this mystery. We're also going to plan some public performances. Some of them will feature this really beautiful Kanabe piano that's in the gallery. It has a beautiful sound, it's a gorgeous piano, so I'm very excited to have some people perform on it for the first time in what's probably you know, over 100 years. Now that this position is permanently endowed, in broadening this role to be the curator of sheet music and popular culture, we're opening the door for future curators to explore the collection in ways that I can't even imagine.